gmail.com. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create HTML list. Okay, here I just create a web page and I name this um, list.html. Okay, so creating an HTML list requires two elements. First, the element used to mark up each list item, and second, the one that will definitely tell what kind of list you are trying to create. It could be an order list on, or it could be also an order list. Okay. For example, the order list basically tell you like the number, which is one, two, three, four, like this is happening first, second, and third. And the other one basically just using uh, bullet points, which is have no intention of tell you what goes first or second and that's when you use this list so the code to create a list they are a little bit different for example the order list we created an ol okay and for the other one we create a ul let's try here let's create the order list first is open tag which is all this is basically the 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 markup what what type of list you're trying to do here remember we need two elements okay and we use the li tag to list the elements okay let me just do the other one which is li which is for T and let me do the other one milk okay just going to go ahead and save the file what about if we create yes an H3 on top just to identify the order HTML list. Okay. So let me go ahead and just double click on my file. There you go. So this is my order list, which is one, two, and three. So let me create the other one. And we have the subline, which is here. I'll make this a little bit smaller since we don't need all this space. I'm just going to type H3. Just type HTML list. And for this one, notice that we using UL, okay? Instead of OL. And then here we say coffee. Then we'll say T. And for the last one, we have milk. Just going to save the file. Going back to here, refresh the page, and voila. So we have those two links. So one thing is, one way to create a navigation, you guys remember the navigation, when we have all these on top and then you just can click on one link and then the other one, you might want to use this one over here and then we're going to use css to remove this little dot here okay that will be later in this course for now we're just going to be using uh, a simple list nesting list when we put one element inside another element we call this the nesting list okay it doesn't have to be only a list. It could be in any programming language. So, for example, here we have 
in this list, we can just create another list. Well, let me just create a new one here. Okay, then let me just type the UL, then the UL, and finally the LI, just put coffee. And now notice that I have one LI and then I type the word T, okay? But instead of closing my tag, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open another UL, okay? And close my UL. And inside my UL, guess what? I can have a whole bunch of LI, okay? black tea we also can have green tea so far so good and now we just can close the li after we creating the inside um on sorter list and after that we can just keep going and keep creating uh, more items inside the list. Here we have milk. I'm just going to go ahead and click save. Just refresh the page. And we have a nesting um, list. Notice that I can also have more things inside those lists. For example, I can say mm, inside my black tea, I can have something like uh, one UL and another UL and say, well, you know, you can have a big black tea or you can also have a small black tea. Okay, I'm gonna click save. Just gonna go ahead and show it on the page. And there you go. So now we have a big list, on order list, okay, on order list. Then we have a list inside this list, which is black tea and green tea. And then I have another list inside the list which is big and small okay and of course you can keep going you can say big um no sugar sugar or small um i don't know green something like that anything you want okay the thing is with this is that you want it if you also have like soup menu and stuff like that you can use that as well for soup menu or anything you want and again as well as we have the navigation on top the one that we talked about early and uh, let me see if i can write it down let me see if i can do it nope i cannot write it down from here okay anyway so we're gonna get there so like you're writing a navigation and you also have like a menu item, but you can also have a, like a, a soup menu and stuff like that. Okay. So we're going to get there as well. See? All right. So that was it for this lesson and I will see you in the next one.